Nobody says the aughts, Pete. Oh, really? I don't think so. Uh, I'll, I'll check. I'll check with my Facebook friends <laughs> from the teens. <laughs> All right, we're here with uh, Kim Geiser. She's our thrifty crafter. On a Monday morning, getting ready for the 4th of July because yes. you spent all weekend getting crafty, so the rest of us, it's going to take us a little bit longer. Right? No? No. It's that easy? Yeah. I, I, when did I start last night? At oh, it was just four? last night? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. No, all very, 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 very quick. And you're not going to believe this. Where did you find these cupcake liners? These cupcake liners that came with these little picks at the dollar store. One dollar for all of this. Right. And she has turned it into something really fun. Yes. Can I show them before yes. you show us what Please you do? do? Talk about this. It's a little banner. They're kind of big right now. Yeah. Everybody's making little banners. Little bunting. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's cupcake liners. It's so cute. Folded in half. And what about these guys? Those were a buck. Two. These two for two. a dollar. These two yeah. for a dollar. You know how to shop. Okay. Now let's craft for everybody. Okay. So all you do is you take a cupcake liner and flatten it out. Okay. Um, and then I should have re, you know. I used a glue stick at home for this part. Oh, that would be good too. And then forgot yeah. it. But then you just lay this in there. Okay. And you press it That's down. That's easy. Super simple. I like the thread that you're using. Yeah, I like it. And that I just got at Hobby Lobby. And just w it, ribbons half oh. off like every other okay. week, so. And they take coupons. They do. So. And then I took one of the flags and just glued that on there. So super, that it's cute. super cute. And so then you could hang that going. from your fi your mantle over your fireplace or anywhere. Front porch. The kids' room, they could decorate their own room for the 4th of July. Yeah. What else did you do with those cupcake liners? Okay, with the cupcake liners, I punched a hole in the top of it and okay. used the mason jars. And it had to be the regular, not the wide, because the wide was too big for the oh, cupcake okay. things. All and right. it took me a little bit to figure out how to p punch that hole. But you, what you do is you just line it up so that it's halfway. Otherwise, your hole will be too big. Oh, you know. I would never have figured that out. Yeah, it took me a little bit to figure that out. And all you do is you Don't just. Don't laugh, <laughs> I meant that. It would have taken me forever to figure that out. <laughs> um, then you just kind of squish it on there, and you just screw that lid on. And then you have a bug-free drink. That's really cute. Uh -huh. And bug-free, but it's also decorative, too. It's so cute. And you could do that for any holiday. Just change yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. I love the, I'm that. sure the dollar store will have different cupcake holders for different holidays. But they had napkins and just fun decorations. And then I got tons of flags at the thrift store. They were so cheap there. Oh, you really? Did, like in the thrift store you know, in the 4th of July section. Stick them in a mason jar and it, it's like a bouquet. So and then fun. your bouquet that you did too, you spray yes. painted. And those little um, firework looking decorations, all they are are these glittery um, pipe cleaners. Cut them in half. Okay. Go like this and fan them out. That's it? That's how simple They it look is. like little fireworks I know. Explosion. Isn't that fun? I would wear this in my hair, too. Yes, you would. And maybe I would make a headband and have a few of them. Oh, how <laughs> cute would that be? Or take two of them <laughs> and make little... Yeah. Yeah, little on your Miss headband. Little firecracker. Wouldn't that be fun? Super cute. And before we go, I had been meaning to ask you, what is that? This is a really old... Um, thing that I got at a thrift store. I'm guessing it's like Victorian. Oh, wow. Um, but it's silk thread. That, very cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty funky. Well, again, she's so very thrifty. She's our thrifty crafter, Kim Geyser, and we'll put information on to find some more of her craftiness and some of her artwork, too, online. Fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. Now, it's time to check in on our Monday morning makeovers. We'll do that after the break. There's two makeovers today. It's happening live at Haven Salon and Spa. We'll go there next.